Grandview High School is having its annual brand art show. After the show was canceled for two years due to COVID-19, the show is back on and filled with extraordinary pieces of art made from students. We asked Jennifer Funnel and Michael Tremento their thoughts on this year's art show. Well, the art show is, you know, a collection of all of the hard work uh, students have done throughout the year and it's our chance to get to showcase it and share it with the school and in addition to that it's really fun because we bring in all of our feeder elementary schools and middle schools so their stuff can be showcased and just bring a lot of people to our building and so they can see some of the classes that they can take in high school and it's just a really fun community event that brings everyone together. Um, what is amazing, I think, about it is just that you have um, every age represented, not only within our building, but also in the elementary sector and the middle school sector. And what an amazing thing it is to see right across the hallway in a showcase, you might have the work of a kindergartner, and across the hallway on a wall, one of our amazing design portfolio kids who might be a senior, most likely is a senior, um, who has their work right across the hallway from them. So I think that that's such a lovely thing to see growth like that. It's amazing, yeah. Though the art show has been happening in prior years, this year's art is different. Well, this is a really big deal that we get to have this art show and we're gonna, to, getting to bring it back. And a lot of our underclassmen don't really know what the art show is all about. So this is the year that they really get to see that. And our seniors haven't had one since they were freshmen. So this is their chance to have one last one before they graduate. Um, you know, as far as the art pieces that are up, I mean, I'm kind of blown away. And that it takes a lot for me to say that, by the way. I don't say that lightly at all. But when I looked at a lot of the design portfolio um, works, which is the culminating effort of, you know, maybe years of artwork um, creation, years of artwork development, I would have to say that that the imp um, totally impressed by their um, the tightness of their portfolio, how relatable it is, and like how how you can see how many of the artists that are featured either in a showcase or on the wall all have a very distinctive style that has been encouraged for them to to produce the work which I think is very exciting that's hard to do at, at your age you know when you're talking about high school work that's no nothing to shake a stick at that a kid can emerge a style in their work at a very young age of 17 or 18 years old that's actually extraordinary so Grandview and other feeder schools did a collaborative piece called the Icosahedron, where artists from Grandview and its feeder schools created a sculpture which can be seen in the upper 100s. This installation is elementary, middle, and high school, and I don't know if you can pan up here, but you see the all the signatures actually of, of the teachers involved, but then primarily all the kids that were at involved in this piece in some way. So this is literally a K through 12 installation and essentially there's some fun things about it but um, this started I think Thursday or Friday morning and then we finished it Friday afternoon so yeah it was long effort maybe about four hours just this alone so yeah. We asked Lexi Neiman whose art can be seen on the walls how a student's art can get their own portfolio on the walls. So you have to be to get like a whole thing like this, you have to be in design portfolio, which is just like advanced art. Like I took graphic design one, two, three, and advanced graphic design, even though none of this is graphic design. And so everybody in that class gets it, but then everybody else just like gets pieces in it. So it's like kind of cool to have that. This art will be hanging around the school for the rest of the year. Make sure to stop in the halls and look at the excellent artwork displayed this year.